of the team that you're, you know what I mean? Maybe not the face of the team, but kind of a, sen a sense of yeah, ownership. Yeah, I um, feel like I really uh, understand kind of what's going on, um, able to learn from mistakes and, and the positives each week um, and build on them and feel good going into our first road game. You got sacked four times on Saturday. Did it hurt first off? Uh, there's there's some bumps and bruises, but nothing major. What is the offensive line? What does the offense need to do to kind of fix those mistakes? Kind of plug those holes to Perry for five yards. Um, yeah, I, I think from a quarterback standpoint, I've got to take a little bit more ownership and um, you know, being able to see pre-snap kind of what's coming. Uh, maybe I can change protections around. Um, you know, and that and that'll just come with meeting with Drevno and Fish this week and. Um, doing what I need to do, but the, the offensive line is, is getting the job done and, and uh, doing their best, so there's nothing to worry about. There was a play a week ago where Harbaugh was trying to get a timeout, but uh, you, I don't know if you saw it, but you kind of beat him to the punch and called it. Are you, you feel like you're seeing the same things as, as he is today and uh, kind yeah. of thinking the same way? Yeah, I do. Um, Coach Fish, Coach Harbaugh and I, it's just um, when you meet together as, as much as we do and, and uh, been together for you know this long, you start to kind of think the same way. And um, when you see something's not right, uh, he's probably thinking the same thing. Or Coach up, Coach Fish up in the box is thinking the same thing. So um, but that's good when that starts to happen. Kind of Coach Fish's impact been on you? Oh, uh, monumental. You know, he he came in and uh, really transformed me as. Uh, not only a quarterback, but you know, as a leader, um, how I, I study the game, how I approach the game, um, and pretty much how I approach every day. You know, whether it's up on campus or in Schembechler Hall, and um, that's not like a complete formed thing. It's it's a process every day, and, and our relationship continues to grow, and um, he continues to, to make me better and push me. He seems like he's really creative as well, like with the cutups of different quarterbacks. Yeah. Oh, he's. Everything that he does is is football related. He, you know, every thought that goes through his head, it's probably about football. If it's not about his family, it's about football. So, um, yeah, it's helped me a lot. It's helped all the quarterbacks a lot. Well, have you seen now five weeks in? Have you seen teams playing you differently, giving you different looks, and trying to like maybe look at your previous games and where you've had success, and you can see those are things they're taking away. Yeah, yeah, and that's why um, that's why the coaches are, are continuing to tweak plays here and there, and, and um, what was the term? Window dressing, uh, just to, to say, hey, this is this is coming, but the next week the the defense it's a different look, and, and they're not expecting it. But yeah, I think defenses at this level um, adjust on the fly and, and figure out what you're trying to do. Did you see a lot this week? Things that were new. Um, yeah, I think Wisconsin. That's a really smart team. Um, you know, Watt was was reading all of our bootlegs. Um, every time I was rolling out of the pocket, it seemed like he was right there. Um, uh, the linebackers were um, calling out certain certain plays and stuff. But you know, our coaches figured that out and adjusted, and it worked. What were they trying to take away specifically, or were there, was there one thing in the passing game? Uh, jet, the, the jet sweeps, uh, for sure. Um, any any of the boot game, it seemed like I said, I came out of a, a play action and rolled to the right, and it seemed like Watt was just waiting on me. Um, and then, it, you know, their, their, their corners, I don't think, um, really thought they could hang with J.U. and Amara's speed, so... A lot of the game, they were bailing. They were bailing. They were bailing. They were running back, and you know, fortunately, they did not on that, that deep ball to Darbo, and he was able to beat him. Well, what kind? What kind of expectations, if any, are you placing on yourself this weekend? You know, going on the road and starting your five and zero um, in your career so far. Is this is this a, a pressure game for you? Do you feel like you have something no, to prove to yourself? No, um, just the next step in the in the journey. Um, you know, we've got an end goal, and, and this is the the next step to get to that to that goal. It's it's not oh gosh, this is my first road game, or um, you know I've got to do this or that to win. It's just move the ball on the field, move the chains, and, and get the ball in the end zone. It's just football. Does the uh, Minnesota game from last year enhance the comfort level, or doesn't it matter? Would you be that way anyway? Uh, no, at this point, it's it's just it's just football. It's uh, maybe earlier in the year, um, you know. I, 
I would tell myself, you know, you, you, you did this last year, you can do it again, but um, we've been doing it all year, so um, yeah, we're not in the big house, we're not in Ann Arbor, but um, it's, it's the same game. Chief said 